YouTubers, Rigor here from Rigor's Garage and Boat Basin. Uh, today we're going to do some uh, remedial maintenance, or not remedial maintenance, preventive maintenance on the TRS uh, outdrive on the boat. Um, I hope you enjoy the episode, and if you do, please like and subscribe. Okay, we're gonna start uh, checking the uh, outdrive. This is a TRS outdrive. It is a uh, the outdrive Mercury Marine made before the Bravo. Uh, it was made for higher horsepower applications. Uh, it's basically uh, set up for uh, 600 horse in a single configuration such as this. And that's what we basically have 600 horse and uh, or 800 horse in uh, dual where you have two engines uh, first thing I'm going to do is check the uh, the oil now if you look down here the outdrive there's a dipstick here and if you take take a look seems a little overfilled but there's plenty of oil and then this motor has a Borg Warner uh, transmission and so down here you unscrew the dipstick and you pull it out and uh, it is full also so now the transmission I don't know which Borg Warner it is it uh, basically has uh, forward neutral and reverse and and that's it and then uh, now I've added right here this hose to the top of the transmission over to uh, that little uh, uh, jug on the transom and that's for overflow from the transmission I noticed when I was sitting here running uh, at higher speeds I would be getting uh, transmission fluid coming off and running down the uh, the uh, transmission so I've taken care of that uh, okay everything else we do is now on the outside so I'm I'm checking the outdrive oil there's two plugs uh, there's one here and there's one way up here so I'm starting with the bottom one and I'm gonna open this briefly to see what color the oil is and of course it's always a messy job as you can see this is a messy job However, the oil coming out of the outdrive is bright green, the same color as in this tube. And uh, the nice thing about this outdrive, I can tighten this plug down on the bottom once I get the oil off my hands. And I can uh, fill this from the dipstick on the top. Once I'm sure that the, uh, the plug is snug, which it is. And I don't have to pump this up to the top here because I've got a reservoir inside the boat. So now we're going to go inside the boat and uh, check the oil and uh, use this little pump thing to, uh, to fill the oil up into the drive. Now, the reason I check this here. Oh goody, airplanes. I think they follow me everywhere. Uh, I pull this plug out. Uh, this is the lowest part on the outdrive. This is right behind the nose cone here. And I want to make sure that there's no water uh, in the oil. That means that the oil, instead of being this green color, would be a, a milky brown. And so uh, 
the the water since the, the water is heavier than the oil will come to the bottom and will puddle up right in here in this area by the plug and that'll be the first out and when I opened it uh, God did I open it um, it flowed out and it was a nice bright uh, uh, green mercury uh, oil color and uh, what I'm using here is the the Merc Cruiser gear lube so okay let's go on the boat what I've done is I poured oil in this dipstick right here and uh, what you've got to do on this motor is the drive has to be tucked in and you pour oil in this reservoir and it goes into the the uh, top of the outdrive. Now what I've got to do is when I, I pop this in the water and start it uh, after it sits there and idles for a bit I need to recheck it and see if I need to top off the oil. Uh, but that's basically the way of uh, checking the oil on this outdrive. Uh, messy process. Okay we're through with the outdrive. I hope you enjoyed this little short video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.